What's going on, guys? It's your host, Stone Chris. City of Stone Chris is in the building. All right, you know what I mean? But anyway, got an interesting topic. I mean, it's the weekend. I haven't done the show in a while. I know y'all haven't seen me, but I got an interesting uh, 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 subject matter here. I would like to talk about interracial relationships, all right? For many of y'all who don't know my background, I am African-American, Negro, colored, uh, Hebrew. You know, I mean, I'm black. For short, I'm black, all right? My wife on the other end is Cambodian. Right now, uh, that's been a thing of lately, interracial, uh, interracial relationships. Now, interracial relationships is not something new, all right? And being, like Interracial relationships been going on since the beginning of time, all right? Now, on uh, when it comes to every ethnicity and every group, you have your biases, you know, and you have your people that uh, have strong feelings about how they feel about their race. All right. And, and they, they pro black. Uh, they are uh, 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 white power, uh, you know, Asian power, however they chanting and however they describe it. You know, in every race, when you're open minded and you're a critical thinker, you know, this is how it go. All right. Now, the reason I want to talk about interracial relationships, because right now people making it out to be a big deal and when i say making it out to be a big deal you got your people that have these strong feelings about their race all right now uh take for an example you know in a black community uh oftentimes when you know uh not all but when black women normally see black men dating outside the race now if for whatever reason this guy's unattractive or broke are at the uh, bottom of the totem pole, then a lot of times it get looked over. But if you of uh, celebrity status or if you are good looking or attractive and uh, have potential and for whatever reason they find out, then it's frowned upon. Only then is it frowned upon. And uh, I'm saying this to say, again, in every group, you have your people that have their strong feelings about their race. So, uh, for an example, right? Uh, back when we were in, uh, let me let me just back up a bit, all right? My wife and I, we grew up together, all right? We've been knowing each other since the uh, age of eleven years old. Uh, we started dating around the age of seventeen, and uh, we've been together going on twenty three years, all right? Twenty three years, and uh, been married sixteen of the twenty three, all right. With that being said. I'm not trying to be Asian. She's not trying to be black. She is a good person. Uh, I like to think that I'm a decent person. I'm a good person. I'm not going to downplay myself. I'm a, I'm a great person, all right? But, uh, you know, I was just trying not to toot my own horn, but uh, I'm a great person. She's a great person. And, uh, you know, we have a connection. We have a connection. And I'm saying all of this to say, a lot of people like to think that when you date outside the race, it's a part of self-hatred. And I disagree. We can agree and we can disagree. All right. Some people, the minute they heard I'm, I'm dating outside the race, they probably gonna turn their video off. They don't want to hear. It. They mad. They upset, especially if it's women. Because, see, I'm going to detour real quick. I'm going to say this real quick. A lot of uh, black women are getting the short end of the stick, meaning when it comes to the most singles in the United States of America, because that's where I live in the United States of America, uh, like 60 to 70 percent of black women are single. All right. And when I say single, meaning uh, single, not just single, but uh, single with children, single with a child and they're unmarried and in the hip hop culture. It's a lot of praise around that. Oh, I'm independent. Uh, I can do bad all by myself. Uh, I need a man who on my level or higher. If he ain't on my... Like, a lot of that is being praised in our community. Now, again, that's not the reason why I'm in my situation, all right? Now, I'm one of them people that's like the man on the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, Real quick, the man in the uh, on the sea, all right? The man that, walk, that talk with God. All right. Hey, God, listen, uh, you know, he talked with God. Hey, God, if I die, would you have my back? Yeah, I have your back. One day he's out at sea. All right. He's out there uh, at sea, the same ship. Once the same ship, um, he's about to drown. All right. Another ship come past and hey, your ship going down. Hey, we here to help you. Let us give you a hand. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. God got me. Hey, man, are you sure you're going to drown, man? Let us help you. 
no, 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 boom, boom, boom. The ship bypassed. Another ship come. And, uh, you know, uh, many of you may have heard the story, and I'm just paraphrasing. Uh, another ship come. Throw him a life jacket. Look, let us help you, man. You're going to drown, man. Look, your ship done went down. No, no, I'm good. God got me. So now, mind you, that was the second ship. He sent back saying God got him. And long story short, the man drowned. Only to run into God again. Hey, God, last time we talked, you said you had my back. And now if I was up in the need of trouble, you, you would have me. Well, I sent you two ships. Moral of the story is when it comes to finding a good woman, for many of you, if you find a good woman, uh, vice versa, women, you find a good man that you click with and you bond with, let, let flourish. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to say flourish. All right, flourish because right now women have always outnumbered men since the beginning of time. And not just that, there are going to be a lot of leftover women. And what women fail to realize is you would have to compete for a good man, regardless of ethnicity and color. Now, in America, we deal with color a lot. All right. America is racist. All right. And racism is being taught all over the world now. All right. And by no means am I promoting date outside your race. If you're a person that say, you know, I know, I know for sure I want to stick with black. If you're a person that's so strong minded and know for sure you just said only on black, then good for you. You're not the bad guy because you want to date of the black race. Now, if you're a white person and you only want to stick with white, you're not the bad guy for wanting to stick with your race and, and, and you believing in your race. But when it comes to finding a, 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 a helpmate, a, a woman finding a, a good man and, and, and being able to support a good man and that vice versa, a man able to find a, a helpmate and a great woman, then that's what it's about, man and woman. They all have a menstrual cycle at the end of the month. I don't know if y'all look into all of that, but excuse me. But uh, again, though, uh, my issue and what I really wanted to confront today before I just go all over the place. And I'm sure it's going to be a part two. But before I go all over the place, what I really wanted to confront is the people who can feel so strong about their race. And you shouldn't date outside the race and, and, and feeling holier than thou. All right. And, and if you're not a, a, a religious person. Or a spiritual person, you could be an atheist. Here's the thing: most people I've ever come across in this country, they represent Christianity. All right, the largest religious uh, religion group in the world, they represent Christianity. It's it it, it, it just amazed me how one could say, you know what, you're only supposed to date in your race, and 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 then it's it's like these same Christian people are the same very ones who are going to fornicate. In other words, how do you know it's so right to only date within your race, but it's not right enough for you to follow your, 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 your biblical uh, 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 teachings? So you know to just stay in your race, but you know not the uh, 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 sex before marriage. Like, shouldn't that be equally important as dating in your race is what I'm saying? It's one thing. No, no, no. I think people should. You can have your strong opinion is what I'm saying, you know, and, and we can agree and disagree. But it's one thing how one could sit back and say uh, people should date in a race. But then when they come to what they believe in, uh, uh, when it comes to the higher power and the most high God, you don't even follow your own Bible. So what are you talking about again? What are we talking about? The majority of the Christians I know in this country, they fornicate. They will never get married. They don't plan on getting married. So if they Bible say, hey, uh, you get married before sex, they do the opposite. So who are you to judge someone is what I'm saying ultimately. All right. Just as your book say in the book of Matthew chapter seven. Right. To If you judge. With that same intensity on you judging people, don't get mad when it happened to you. And again, that's me paraphrasing. Go to the book of Matthew chapter 7. It's in there basically. All right. You judge someone, then you will be judged the same way. You understand what I'm saying? So you never know people's situations, man. I Like I say, uh, I, I left the streets back in 06, all right? I, I'm not, I, you know, when I was in the streets, I have a open mind enough to say that, you know, people go through things. And when I say people go through things, you know how many guys who done been in the prison system and people done wrote them off 
and turned their back on them. And, and a lot of them men uh, found good women, regardless of their color, that would support them and be by their side. You know how important that is to have some support and some love on your team? They don't have nothing to do with self-hatred is what I'm saying. So a lot of time when y'all judge people and think people, they not side the race because they hate themselves or hate others. That's not the case a lot of times. You just don't know these people's stories. So it all ties into what I was just saying about that biblical uh, uh, scripture, meaning don't be so quick to judge people. All right. And, and, and you can apply that to a lot of aspects of life. You know what I'm saying? And uh, another thing I wanted to touch on is you women with these double standards. Again, when you can take someone like a, a, a Serena Williams, all right, with all of that money and married to a white guy. When you can take someone like Eve, she done married into somebody, a uh, European royal family. You can take, and she's from Philadelphia. And uh, <laughs> I said that because uh, Umar crossed my mind. You know, he, he go out of his way, you know, I mean... I personally think Umar heard Umar tell this story way when he was a child. He was playing with this white kid, and then a white father uh, came over to his house and told his father, like, he don't want that black boy playing with his uh, white child. And and, and, and and Umar dealing with some hurt there, some trauma, and it ain't no doubt in my mind because he spent a lot of time going in on snow bunnies and who's sex and who when he never been married to a black woman. Make it make sense. For you to put all of that energy and effort into telling black men who they should marry and worrying about who other people are sexing, men and women, brother, you never been married. You got two female daughters and you never married their mother. Make it make sense. If you got six degrees and you so intelligent, make it make sense. All of the great leaders who fought for the, uh, 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 black folk and the civil rights movement and these prominent figures in the black community had wives. From Brother Malcolm to Dr. King, uh, uh, the Honorable uh, 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 Elijah Muhammad, I mean, uh, uh, Marcus Garvey, so on and so forth. You know, but anyway, uh, this ain't about him. You know, it just, he put a lot of energy into talk about uh, uh, interracial uh, dating. And it, 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 it makes sense what he's saying, but I'm bringing him up because he's not leading by example. He never, if, if it's so... Uh, if you can find black women, if you can't find a good black woman in the United States, the way he traveled the world into these different countries, why haven't you found you a wife? That's a problem. That's a red flag. That's very manipulative. And that, uh, keep your eye on that, brother. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I don't wish him no harm. Anything like that. Got a great respect for him. And by no means, this is disrespectful. But he have to be reminded every single chance. All right. So anyway, uh, you got... Uh, Meghan Markle, right? Meghan Markle, she done married into some royal bloodline and, and, and dating a white guy. You have uh, Eve. Uh, what's that sister name? Uh, Lisa Ray. All three of these women from Lisa Ray to Eve to Meghan Markle done married into some type of European royalty. And guess what? It's not all over the vlogs them going in about interracial dating. All right? We're going to leave Serena out. We're going to leave doggone uh, Robert De Niro wife out. We're going to leave doggone, well, Whoopi Goldberg, she no longer with the white brother. You know what I mean? You know, but it's so many women, you know, that we know in the public eye that they're married outside the race. They don't get no flat. So when it comes to the double standards, what I'm saying is to be a black man, we are scrutinized about everything. We under scrutiny. And, and, and what's sad is, that's where the real self-hatred comes in because a lot of black women, not all, but a lot of black women are doing the work of the oppressor. Meaning we are, it's one thing to say we at war with the uh, colonizer slash oppressor, but now we got to battle with our women because our women wrote us off for a check. Following that women liberation movement, a guy can't be in the house. We've been written off for a check. All right. You know, so even when you look at the family that pray, look at all our black women, uh, uh, how they make it so accessible for the black woman to climb that corporate ladder. It's 10 times harder for the black man. I'm not saying men don't do it, but the thing is, once they climb that ladder, now these guys got their pick of the litter. All right. Whether they decide to marry a black woman or, or marry an Asian woman or, or marry a Hispanic woman, by the time all the women climb that corporate ladder, the white men is up there waiting at the top. 
I mean, on some systemic structure and, 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 and systemic doggone bias, uh, r r racism. See it for yourself, all right? So anyway, man, back to the point of, of what I'm saying about being a black man and anything and everything we do, we, we, we get hit with the book. I mean, we get we get hung for it. All right. If a black man uh, 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 do some harm to another black brother, they going to blow it all out of proportion. Oh, look how evil they are. Look how they thugs and gangsters, this and this. You can get little Billy to go and kill about 50 to 100 people and blow up the damn school. Oh, uh, you know, well, Billy, uh, they bullied him. People talked about him and he had it rough. These are this is the justification you get, meaning if, if if a black person do anything, it's it's the worst thing ever. It, it, it's the worst thing ever. If one person can die, and it's the worst thing ever. This guy can go and blow up the whole church. And, and, and they go and buy him Burger King. So again, anything we do, people blow it out of proportion, even our own kind, to the point that if a black man is dating the dog on are uh, dating outside the race? Oh, self-hatred. They they taking all of our men. Oh, it's self-hatred. They don't, man, they, ugh, ugh. We get, we get called all type of names, this, that, that. Well, I, I'm, you know, no one have, I don't, no one disrespected me. I mean, like, you know, back in the day, I may have gotten some crazy looks depending on what side of town we were on. But like I say, it, it was, uh, no, no one ever disrespected us. I mean, my wife is respected for the person that she is and the way she carries herself. And likewise, vice versa, the same thing here. But uh, like I said, I just wanted to address it. And uh, to any of you that's watching this video, for any questions, please leave it in the comment. Because, see, this is part one. And like I say, um, if it sounds like and seems like I'm all over the place, it's because I am. I'm no real podcaster. I'm no radio host. You know, I'm in the comfort of my, of my own home. And a lot of time, this is therapy for me. You know, the... Uh, you know, be able to come to this part of my house and then, you know, again, uh, you know, talk to the Internet world. And, uh, and, and you know, and like I say, for the uh, the few viewers that I have, I mean, hey, listen, again, it ain't for it to go viral, but let's create a dialogue, you know. But um, being in an interracial relationship, uh, like I say, maybe, you know, if 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 um uh, how do you uh how do you say it um uh, if we was in a uh, homogeneous state of uh, uh 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 of living then I think it would be different because people are not used to seeing it so I mean take North Korea for an example I mean you got like 98 99 percent like Koreans like they not they don't have many white they don't have no whites there they don't really have no blacks there so to see somebody from a different race. It's going to be a bit shocking, whereas in America, it's a melting pot. This has been going on since slavery, meaning white men raping the women. Uh, and, and that wasn't the case, you know, all the time. A lot of the black women, they they wanted the, uh, the resources of the white man. And they, you know, thought they will be getting treated better. And a lot of the women went and had babies with the, with the slave master and, and, and thinking life would be better. And, and, you know, and some of them maybe even like the white man. So uh, and vice versa with the white women. They went and made it with black men. And uh, this has been going on, like I say, for hundreds of years. Uh, Frederick Douglass, he, he uh, as Umar would say, he bunny hopped. And then Umar turns around and named his school. And then here's the justification. Well, he didn't have babies with him. He, he was married to a black woman first and had his children with the black woman. He bunny hopped. He dated two white women. You understand? So people pick and choose. People, it, it's double standards. People pick and choose. A lot of a lot of these uh, are interracial relationships. If the women find a lot of these guys unattractive, or broke, and beneath them, then they don't care. But then if you're a ball player, or somebody important, and then you date outside the race, ah, oh, now they mad. And then you know the justification. Well, the the transfer of wealth. Since he had the money, that money. He could have just married a black person. That way, if he loses it or when something go left, we can get it. <laughs> make it make sense. So in other words, you know, instead of her taking advantage and getting your money, let us take advantage and get your money. So listen, women, all of you women that's taking the time to listen, hey, if you made it this far, you're going to have to compete for men. 
it's no way around it. You're going to have to compete for men. And then, uh, like I say, go behind me. Uh, you can go to, uh, it's called Pew Research. Uh, is it Pew? Uh, anyway, you can look at the stats, meaning when it comes to dating outside the race, Asian women and Hispanics is at the very top when it comes to dating outside the race. Not black men. All right? Hispanics and Asian women, they lead they at the top when it comes to dating outside the race. And when I say Hispanics, meaning, you know, you got, um, you know, most of the uh, Espanol communities. So, so you got South America, you got Central America, you got Mexico, you got Puerto Rico, you got uh, Dominican, you got uh, Cuba. You know what I'm saying? So all of these, you know, wherever the Spanish, Spanish women colonized, you know what I mean? And you got the Asian women. Now, of course, many of us know that when it comes to the Asian race, uh, they have, especially in China, what they call leftovers, meaning all of those women won't be able to get a husband. So instead of them saying, you know, I'm going to go through life alone, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to find me a man and I'm going to appreciate me a man. In America, a lot of our women are spoiled. They've had a taste of power and they're not going to relinquish that power. Right now, a female can be working at doggone uh, uh, a low end diner. And if a man come in there uh, and he has money and he thinks she's beautiful and a potential wife, he can marry her. Will women do the opposite? No. If a woman making a lot of money, what's the chance of them going to marry the guy that work at the local diner? They're not going to do it. Hypergamy. Hypergamy. They hypergamous. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of double standards. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I say, anything we do, we get hit with the book. The majority... Of black people in the United States, all right, when it comes to black couples that are married, far exceeds the ones that date outside the race. So they're like, oh, well, the brothers date outside the race more than women. All right, granted, I agree. It's true. Those are the facts. The black man, because when you look at the options, I mean, the black man is desired amongst a lot of the races. When it comes to uh, uh, the dating pool, black women and Asian men are at the bottom of the tone pole. They the least sought after, the Asian man and the black woman. All right? Now, any man in his right mind, and not to say that all black women are angry, are contentious and bitter. All right? But we cannot ignore the facts. All right? Now, you move your feelings and your ego out the way. Let's, let's talk about the facts, meaning the mentality of a lot of the women in America, not just black, but whites. And even the Asian, if you grew up and you got that Western world mentality, then it's a good chance you're masculine. All right. And you don't have a taste of power and you want to overthrow and you want to run the show. All right. And then many of these people say, oh, yeah, I'm Christian. Book of Corinthians, chapter 11, you know, verse. Uh, uh, um, is that? Let me see. First Corinthians. First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse three. It's in the book of Corinthians. God. Your Lord. The man, the woman, and then the children. They go your spiritual structure. Man, these people ain't stunned none of that. These people making up the rules as they go. You damned if you do, you damned if you don't. So again, for whoever's watching this, and that's the message. You know, if you stay within your race, then you gotta let the black woman play you. You know, because right now they're not gonna relinquish their power. They don't have a taste of power. They're not gonna relinquish their power and let you be the man. And, and, and lead them. They want to lead. They want to call the shots, you know. And so that's why when you look uh, look at the, 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 the black women in America, they the least, like, married. All right? No, like, they're the least. Like, nobody ain't trying to marry them. because And, and they not trying to change it. You got a lot of these black women who done been through one, two, three, four, five different marriages. And they're not trying to... They're not figuring it out. They're not trying to figure it out. They want to look, nope, just take me as I am. They can be 300, 400 pounds. Just, nope. They 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 set in their ways, you know. And then the, the sad thing is they're teaching their daughters. And it's ruining our community. They're teaching their daughters. Oh, no, nah, go out and be young. Uh, go out and be young. Live your best life. You know what I mean? So basically, you just taught your daughter to go out here and pass it around and put all her mouths on it. And then, doggone, once she gets tired and exhausted, then go and try to find a stepdaddy. Somebody to marry her or try to go and find the best man when she don't went out and play all of the time. Like, do what they're teaching. And then, the boys that they're raising, these single mothers that are raising the boys, you like your father. You ain't no good. 
This is what they're growing up hearing by these single mothers. So it's ruining our community. So, again, I want to leave off on, on a positive note. But what I want to say is uh, when you look at the black community, the majority of the people that are black, they, they are, 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 are the marriage of black men and black women far exceed the um, black men and black women who done stepped out dating uh, uh, interracial. All right. So it's more black women and black men that are married and have children. And then not just that, a lot of these single mothers that's going out here having babies, uh, they having them with black men. It's, it's the same black man. 16% of the black men, they 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 they, they rotate. They, they, they screwing the same ones. The, 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 the men who got like a baby or two already, they giving them another one. So they screwing the same ones. It's not all of us, you know, because like I say, you got 54% of the men that are single and childless. And then you got like, uh, 30 plus percent that are, are married and then that 16 percent of, of black men that are left they the one screwing all of these doggone or uh, 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 women giving them babies and they just sitting there allowing it to happen and they ain't even getting a ring so they, they need to be held accountable for it all right excuse me y'all but uh, anyway uh like i say for any questions anything you want to ask me you know about you know uh my interracial relationship i can't speak for everyone else you know but like i say uh on a uh positive note what what can I say positive? Uh, women, regardless of your ethnicity, you're going to have to compete for a good man. Y'all not going to all get that tall brother that's making all that money. Y'all ain't all, all of y'all not going to get one. It's not going to happen. Uh, a lot of you women who done been married already in a ruined relationship are left and uh, are made permanent decisions off of temporary uh, emotions. Uh, maybe you're not deserving of a man. But, um, you know, uh, for all of you women out there, regardless of your ethnicity, uh, may the best woman win. And uh, to you guys out there, uh, like I say, uh, again, when, 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 when you look at the black community or when you go into like black areas, I'm not even going to say community. When you go into black areas, look and see how many interracial children playing with the other black children. What you're going to find out, like, look at all these black children. So if it's so much interracial marriage and, uh, marriage and, and, and interracial dating going on, it should be one mixed child in every group of black children that's out playing. But it's not as big as people making it out to be. So anyway, y'all, uh, like I say, man, it'll be a part two, man. Uh, this is just part one, the introduction. Uh, if I said anything that you disagree with, um, like put it in the comment. Let, let, let's have a conversation. Let's talk about it. And then I'll address it in part two. But look, man, thanks for listening. Uh, share the video, man. That's my time over and out. Appreciate it.